Hello friends, welcome. From this lecture, we are starting a new subject and that is management accounting or somewhere it is also taught with the name costing and management accounting or cost and management accounting, whatever the name is or the subject title is, we will know the subject as management accounting and in management accounting we are going to start with marginal costing. Marginal costing is a very important technique of costing. First of all we are going to discuss briefly the meaning of the term marginal costing. What exactly is done in marginal costing? I know that many of the students face too much difficulties in understanding marginal costing. So we are starting the subject with the meaning itself and gradually we will unfold many topics and then we will go for solving the problems. Let us take first the meaning of the term marginal costing. What is marginal costing? Marginal costing means ascertainment of marginal cost and analyzing the effect of changes in volume that is sales or production quantity or type of output if we change the product or features of the product that is known as type of output on profit by differentiating between cost, variable cost and fixed cost. Marginal costing means ascertainment of marginal cost first to determine the marginal cost and analyzing the effect of changes in volume or type of output on profit by differentiating between variable cost and fixed cost. So the most important task in marginal costing technique is to differentiate or to segregate the total cost of production and sales into two main parts. One is variable cost and another is known as fixed cost. In the coming lectures we are going to analyze these all these terms separately. The total cost is segregated into two parts, variable cost and fixed cost. Now then what? In this technique, in marginal costing, only variable cost are charged, that means return of against the sales revenue. We accounted for all sales revenues and from the aggregate sales revenue for the period, we first charge or write off only variable cost. The Balancing amount is popularly known as contribution margin. And the fixed costs are written off against the contribution margin in the period in which they arise. Friends, the difference between variable cost and fixed cost is of behavior. And the another difference is variable cost is incurred or we have to incur the variable cost throughout the production process that means it is directly dependent on the production activity while fixed cost is mostly incurred on the basis of time element periodic payments of fixed cost are there while in case of variable cost the production activity itself is responsible so this is directly relevant to the production activity this is this can be or many of the fixed cost can be indirectly relevant to the production activity. So if we know or if we want to study the marginal costing, we need to know variable costs, theoretically meaning and practically which are the variable costs, fixed cost, we can segregate the fixed cost into two parts, operating fixed cost and financial fixed cost and as we know that in costing the financial fixed cost are not considered. So in costing normally fixed cost means operating fixed cost and we also need to know the concept of variable cost. We also need to recognize the variable cost from the total cost. We need to segregate the semi variable cost but later on as I told we are going to discuss all these types of cost separately. But let us summarize the discussion what we exactly do in marginal costing. So first we say take the amount of sales revenue.
from which we first write off or charge variable cost. The balancing amount is known as contribution margin. From contribution margin, we write off the fixed cost or precisely the operating fixed cost and ultimately we arrive at profit that is operating profit or precisely the according to the terms we use in accounting or accountancy this profit is the profit before interest and tax yes because as we know that in marginal costing or in costing fixed cost means only operating fixed cost so this is the summary of the procedure which we follow in marginal costing now see the words analyzing the effect of changes in volume or type of output if we change the volume of output our sales revenue will change accordingly the variable cost will change accordingly the contribution will change and accordingly the profit will change because in short term the fixed cost is going to remain fixed or constant thank you